if you're like most everybody in America in the last, I don't know, week, two weeks, you kind of realize something really weird going on. So what exactly is it? What's caused all this? And well, I've got a couple of answers for you. There's a particular disease going around, and you might think I'm joking, but I'm really not. The disease is kind of like chicken pox in a way. You can tell who has it very, very easily. All you got to do is just look at them, and you can figure it out pretty fast. But basically, the disease is called Social Justice Warrior Syndrome. Now, if you spot people with this particular disease, nine times out of ten, they're going to have their hair colored like green, blue, yellow, red, something like that. Part of the problem is, is it's actually brain damage. And what's happened is all that dye is soaked through the skin and the head, and it's actually gotten to the brain, and it's really messed up stuff. Because here's what happens. The result of social justice warrior syndrome is that they love to signal and virtue signal that even though the world is a really messed up place, they're the good guys, and they're standing for the right things. And maybe sometimes standing for the right thing is really kneeling during the national anthem. And so what happens is, before too long, you have people who are like, you know what, maybe I don't agree with this, but I better go ahead and agree with it, just be so that I don't get bullied by this cartel of freaks into thinking the way they want. And that's basically what's happened with the NFL. They basically begin to, to bow into the pressure, and basically they're bowing into the fact that, and they're buying into the idea that the national anthem and things like that are, are representative of something that they're not. And the reality is, is a lot of people don't think about it like this, but what's happened is leftism, and, and I want to be very, very clear, leftism isn't necessarily the problem, but Marxism is. Marxism teaches to invade everything within a culture. And it's happened back in 2014. Uh, there was a thing called Gamergate, and you can look into it on your own. There's going to be a whole lot of people that's going to say a whole lot of different ideas about it. But what it really boils down to is this. People in the video gaming industry came out to its customer base and said, Look, you're a bunch of racist, misogynist, evil people. It's not exactly something you want to do to your customer base. But that's basically what the NFL is now doing to its customer base. You're a bunch of racist, misogynist, evil people. Dumb business move. So anyways, what happened with Gamergate is people got angry. And they stood up against this cartel of people who were just telling them how they want to interject their lives. And what happened was it was the first time that people in this new culture war rejected social justice. Now, is social justice in and of itself right or wrong? I don't know. I think there are definitely bad things in the world. However, though, the problem is, is how do you go about solving those things? You don't go about solving those things the way that people are wanting to solve them right now. All you're going to do is make the problem worse. It's a lot like throwing, uh, I don't know, gasoline on a bonfire of NFL jerseys. That's basically what's happening. So anyways, what you have taking place is in the NFL, you've got all these people basically protesting and such, and they're... Their fans are basically taking it as them pointing to them saying that they are the problem. And they don't like that. I can't blame them. But the thing is, it's part of the fact that everything can be politicized anymore. 20 years ago, I would have never believed you that people would stop watching the NFL over just some stupid, silly stuff. But it's happening. And it's going to keep happening. Because now, for the second time, the second time, people are now standing up against this movement of social justice. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people don't realize this, but Gamergate is actually what started and helped to lead to the alt-right. And what's funny about that is that one of the primary people of it, a guy by the name of uh, Sargon of Akkad, you can check him out on YouTube, he's not even, he's a liberal. And he started the alt-right liberal, yeah. So the alt-right, the whole thing, it's crazy because if you think about it, what not for the rise of the alt-right, Donald Trump may never even been in power as president. And that's how much of a backlash came out of Gamergate, of all things. They're connected. They really are. It's because they're fighting the same culture battle 
against the same idiots.